Dealing with divorce can put a strain on all aspects of your life, mental, spiritual, and even physical. But After Divorce Ministries is here to help. Joining me today, of course, is Renee smith Atline to tell us more about uh, a unique workshop and peer support group here in the Charleston area that is like a safe place for those who are going through a divorce. Welcome once again. How are you today? Thank you. Thank you for having me back. I'm uh, fine. Tell us about this workshop that, that, that's taking place because... Unfortunately, there, there's a number of divorces, uh, not just in the Charleston area, but all over the country and all over the world. And folks need to have some guidelines about what is going on sometimes because they're, they're, they're really trying to do things themselves. And there's just so much emotion going into some of the decisions they make. I've been through a divorce, and I know that it just rattles your world. It pulls the rug right out from mm -hmm. under your feet. And that when you're, um, you're dealing with all of this, it can be tremendously helpful mm -hmm. to have some other people to talk with who know what it's like mm -hmm. firsthand, you know, who've been there, who can give you support and with whom you can share ideas for healing. Mm -hmm. And it's also, um, if you're trying to get over a divorce, you know, maybe you're going through a divorce now or maybe it's a divorce you've been through in the past. If you're trying to get over a divorce, it can be hard to do that by yourself. And a lot um, of times an individual feels complete loneliness. Uh, they, they feel that there's that no one loves them anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and there may be family support, but there may not be family support. Right. And sometimes it may be the individual's situation. They may have caused divorce or they may not have caused divorce. So there's a lot of things that's going on. And sometimes talking with these folks... Uh, brings out so much that can help the folks. Right, right. And it helps to have a non-judgmental place. Everybody mm -hmm. who works with this ministry mm -hmm. has been through a divorce. Mm -hmm. So there's no judgment being passed on anybody, whatever your circumstances mm -hmm. are. But if you want to actually put that divorce behind you and mm -hmm. move forward, you know, you have to make a conscious decision to do that mm -hmm. and to become proactive. And it helps to learn strategies to figure out what's holding you back mm -hmm. and to learn strategies to help you move forward. Mm -hmm. So in addition to support, this workshop is unique in that it offers specific strategies. It's an mm -hmm. educational mm -hmm. workshop to help people learn how do you move beyond divorce, whether it's a current divorce or one that's 30 mm -hmm. years ago, but that still bothers you. And one of the things you just, you just stressed on, this is a therapeutic workshop. Uh, it, it's, it, it's not a therapy session, which oh, right. is extremely important for, right. the folks, for the folks to know about. Right. Yeah. I'm a counselor, but this is not a group counseling session. Mm -hmm. This is an educational mm -hmm. workshop where we teach strategies mm -hmm. you know, for understanding what happens to you when you're going through divorce, for understanding you're not alone, but also for figuring out how do you deal with the um, the the ghost of a, sort of the emotional and mm -hmm. mental ghost the thoughts that you have that hold you back and keep you from mm -hmm. healing and then really practical things like how do you deal with loneliness that loneliness mm -hmm. you mentioned how do you um do how do you, you deal with an ex-spouse how do you deal with the ex-spouse yeah. how do you communicate especially when sometimes there's children involved right uh, and that's really and the main thing that keeps you dealing with yeah. an ex-spouse yeah. and you know so how do you help children cope with divorce so that they mm -hmm. come through this process in a healthy way mm -hmm. so how do you help your children how do you communicate with your ex-spouse mm -hmm. so that your communications aren't just totally in a rut you know, mm -hmm. that you, an emotional rut that you get into. Mm -hmm. How do you set boundaries to define yourself as single yeah. so that you can move on um, and, and change the dynamics of your relationship mm -hmm. with your yeah. ex-spouse? Mm -hmm. Tell us about the workshop once again. We've got to wrap up in just okay. a moment. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The Peace After Divorce workshop mm -hmm. starts March 4th. That's two weeks from tonight mm -hmm. at Seacoast Church West Campus. Mm -hmm. that's, and on that's on Savannah Highway. That's on Savannah mm -hmm. Highway right between where Sam Rittenberg mm -hmm. comes in and where the Mark Clark crosses. A big neck area right uh, there. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh -huh. if you want to register, you may do so mm -hmm. at um, our website, peaceafterdivorce.com. Mm -hmm or by calling me, and I believe you have the phone numbers on the screen, or by emailing me, and that, we have that on the screen as well, I believe. So uh, we would encourage you to register in advance um, and take advantage of this opportunity for support as well as for information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Renee, thank you so much for joining us again, folks. Thank check you. that out in the workshop that's going to be taking place there at the uh, Seacoast Church on Savannah Highway. More coming up after the break, so stay right with us.